Hi there, Pastor Nikki here again this week for this Thanksgiving children's sermon. I have here something you might be familiar with. It's called a cornucopia. It's also sometimes called a horn of plenty. It's usually filled with all kinds of food as we see here, pumpkins and apples, oranges, grapes, squash, ears of corn. It's a symbol of endless supply of food. Today though, the cornucopia is usually made from a basket, sort of similar to the one in this picture. But many years ago, it was usually a goat's horn that was hollowed out and filled with food. We see it most often at this time of year because it's the time when many of our food is harvested and crops are plucked out of the ground and ready to be eaten. In the U.S., it's a decoration around Thanksgiving because the cornucopia is a symbol of all the good things that we have to enjoy. We have a lot to be thankful for. What are some things you are thankful for? Go ahead, share them. Yeah, I I'm thankful for a lot of those things as well. But who should we thank for all that we have? That's right. I bet you guessed it. We should give thanks to God. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from God. When someone is giving you a gift, what do we typically say? We say, thank you. So when do you think you should say thank you to God? Should we have one day a year just to give thanks? Should we have one day a week to give thanks? I think though, maybe perhaps every day should be a day of thanksgiving. Don't you agree? Our Bible lesson today says, Shout to the Lord for all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good. His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I think now would be a good time to stop and give thanks and praise for all God has done for us. So let us pray together. Lord, we thank you for all the good gifts you give to us. But most of all, we thank you for your love and your gift of your son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. In this week of Thanksgiving, may we be reminded that every day should be a Thanksgiving day to the Lord.